In this video, we are going to look at how to express any quadratic expression in this form. In other words, you are going to learn how to express any quadratic expression in the vertex form. Alright, so we are going to have x squared plus 4x, then let's leave a space here, then plus 3, which is this one, and let's leave a space on the right. So what are we going to put on these spaces that we've left? So we are going to look for the coefficient of x. In this case, it's a 4. Then half it. So the coefficient of x, in this case, it's a 4. So it's a 4. Then we are going to half it. How are you going to half it? You are just going to multiply it by 1 over 2. So we are going to have 4 over 2, which is 2. So half the coefficient of x is 2. Then we square it. Okay, we square it. So meaning, we are going to add the square of half of the coefficient of x, which is 2 in this case. So adding it on the left of this number of 3 is same as subtracting it on the right. So what we have formed here is a perfect square trinomial. So we are going to complete the square here on the perfect square trinomial. So we are going to write x, not x squared, just write x then plus whatever sign is going to be here, in this case it's a plus, then you collect this number here, not this number squared, just this number. In other words, just get the half of the coefficient of x like this, then everything squared, then add these, plus 3 minus 2 squared is 4. Then we are going to have x plus 2 squared, Positive 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So you can see that we have written this quadratic expression in this form. So we can prove it. So proof, when we expand and simplify this, we should be able to get the original expression. So we have x plus 2 squared minus 1. x plus 2 squared is same as x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 minus 1. x times x is x squared. x times positive 2 is positive 2x. Two then 2 times x is positive 2x. Two, 2 times 2 is f positive 4, then minus 1. Then we're going to have x. These are like terms together and they are adding, so we're going to have 4x, then plus 4 minus 1. We have x squared plus 4x. 4 minus 1 is positive 3. So you can see that we are getting back the original expression. All right. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share? All right. Here is the next question. So we are going to have x squared plus x let's leave a space here then minus 7 and also let's leave a space here so the coefficient of x in this case is a 1 so the coefficient of x is a 1 so we need to half it by multiplying it by 2 or by 1 over 2 then we are going to have 1 over 2 as half of that then square it okay so meaning we're going to add this quantity on the left and subtract it on the right, just as we did in the previous example. So here we are going to add 1 over 2 squared. Adding it on the left is same as subtracting it on the right. We are doing this because we are not changing anything. We don't need to change anything on the original expression. We are just rewriting it in this form. Okay? So if you are to say positive this uh, minus that this will cancel what will remain is just the original expression all right so here we have formed a perfect square trinomial so we're going to complete the square we'll have x not x squared just x then plus whatever sign is here in this case it's a plus then half of the coefficient of x which is 1 over 2 then everything squared then this minus 7 minus 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. 
So what is remaining is just to simplify these fractions. So this is an integer and it can be written as a fraction like this. So the common denominator is 4. So what we are supposed to do is to make this denominator to be 4 as well by multiplying it by 4. So what you've done on the denominator, you also do it on the numerator so that the value of the fraction remains the same. So we're going to have x plus 1 over 2, everything squared, uh, minus 4 times 7 is 28 over 4, minus 1 over 4. So we're going to have x plus 1 over 2 squared minus 29 over 4. So you can see that this is the final answer. We have written this quadratic expression in this form. All right, here is the next example. Feel free to pause the video, try it out, and compare your answer with the answer that we are going to do it together here. So we are going to have x squared minus 4x. Leave a space here, then plus 2. We leave a space here. Half of 4 is 2. Then we are going to add 2 squared. Adding 2 squared here is same as subtracting 2 squared on the right. So here we have formed a perfect square trinomial. So we are going to complete the square here. So we are going to have x. Then plus whatever sign is here. In this case it's a minus. Then Half of the coefficient of x, in this case a 2. In other words, just get this number here, a 2. Then square. Then plus these, plus 2. Then minus 4. So we have x minus 2 squared. Positive 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So we have written this quadratic expression in this form. Alright, here is the next example. Feel free to pause the video, try it out, and then compare your answer with the answer that we're going to find together here. So we're going to have x squared minus 3x, then leave a space here, plus 2, which is that, then leave a space here. The coefficient of x is 3, so get a 3, then half it by multiplying it by 2, so we're going to have... 3 over 2 as half of the coefficient of x, then square it. So meaning we are going to add this on the left and subtract this on the right. So we are going to add, so plus 3 over 2 squared, then subtract this same quantity on the, on the right. So here we have formed a perfect square trinomial. So we are going to have x plus whatever sign is here, in this case it's a minus, then get this number here, not this number squared, just this number, so 3 over 2, then everything squared, plus this, plus 2, minus, uh, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4. Again, what is needed here is just to simplify these fractions. So this is over 1. You can simplify these fractions by any method that you've learned. But I will, I will use equivalent fractions. So I'll multiply this by 4, the denominator by 4. I'll also multiply the numerator by 4 so that the value remains the same. So what you have is x minus 3 over 2 squared plus 4 times 2 is 8 over 4 minus 9 over 4, right? So we have x minus 3 over 4 or over 2 squared. So we are going to have, so now that the denominators are the same, it means that these fractions can subtract directly. So we are going to have 8 minus 9 is minus 1, then over 4. So which means this is the final answer and it means that we have written this quadratic expression in this form. Again, if you are with me up to this time, it means that you are enjoying what I'm doing. Please subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share. All right, we have this next example here. 
and this one is a bit different from all the examples that we've looked at so this one is different in such a way that it has a 2 the coefficient of x squared is a 2 so for you to complete the square of any quadratic expression you need to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1 but in this case we have a 2 so what we are going to do is we are going to factor the 2 out like this we are going to have x squared plus x over 2 I've not changed anything because if you say 2 times x squared, you get back that. Then 2 times x over 2, the 2s will cancel, go, you get back that. Then minus 3 over 2. Again, if you say 2 times 3 over 2, you get back that. So now we are going to have 2 x squared plus x over 2. Let's leave a space here, minus 3 over 2. We leave a space here and close like this. The coefficient of x over 2 is 1 over 2, is half. So we need to half this coefficient by multiplying it by 1 over 2. So 1 times 1 is 1. Then 2 times 2 is 4. Then square this. So meaning we're going to add this on the left and subtract this on the right. So we'll have plus 1 over 4 squared, then subtract the same 1 over 4 squared. All right. So here we have formed the perfect square trinomial. So what we're going to have is 2. Let's complete the square here on the perfect square trinomial. We'll have x, not x squared, just x. Then plus whatever sign is here, in this case it's a plus, then plus uh, half of the coefficient of uh, x, we found that it's 1 over 4. In other words, you're just getting this number here. Not this number squared, but just the, this number here. Then everything squared, then minus this, minus 3 over 2, minus 1 squared is 1 over 4 squared is 16. Again, what is needed is just to simplify or subtract these fractions. So the, com the common denominator is 16. So make this the first denominator also to be 16. So you multiply by 8. What you've done on the denominator, you also do it on the numerator so that the value of the fraction remains the same. So we we'll have 2x plus 1 over 4 squared minus 8 times 3 is 24 over 16 minus 1 over 16 so we're going to have 2 x plus 1 over 4 squared then negative 24 minus 1 is negative 25 over just get one denominator 16 so you can see that we have written this expression in this form right here's the next example feel free to pause the video try it out and compare your answer with the answer that we're going to find so we're going to factor out the two so we we'll remain with x squared plus five x over two so i've not changed anything because two times this you get that then two times this you get that because the twos will cancel then plus 3 over 2 as well. So we're going to have 2x squared plus 5 over 2x. Then let's leave a space. Then plus 3 over 2. Let's also leave a space. So the coefficient of x is 5 over 2. To half it, multiply it by 1 over 2. So meaning we're going to have 5 over 4. Then square this quantity and then, then add it to the left and subtract it on the right. So we are going to have plus 5 over 4 squared on the left. Then minus 5 over 4 squared on the right. So we have formed a perfect square trinomial here. So we have 2. Let's complete the square here on the perfect square trinomial. We have x 
just x, then plus whatever sign is here. In this case, it's a plus. Then this number here, not squared, just this number here, 5 over 4 squared. Then plus these, plus 3 over 2 minus uh, 5 squared is 25 over 4 squared is 16. So we're going to have 2 x plus 5 over 4 squared. Again, we need to simplify these fractions. The common denominator is 16. So meaning we need to make this denominator 16 as well by multiplying it by 8. So what we have done here, we also do it on the numerator. So that the value of the fraction remains the same. So we have plus 8 times 3 is 24 over uh, 16 minus 25 over 16. Alright, so what we are going to have here is 2 x plus 5 over 4 squared positive 24 minus 25 is minus 1 then over 16. So you can see that we have written this quadratic expression in this form. If you want to learn how to complete a square, I've made a, a separate video and it's the one that is showing on the screen right now. Please click on it and learn more about com how to complete the square.